Okay, for your graph and your resistance, once you have your data down here, and you can really use any different potential differences that you want, and as long as your resistance stays the same, you can change your potential difference, and then you'll get your currents. Once you have this table done, you're going to copy it, so highlight it, and then control C, and then you're gonna go and open up Google Sheets right here. And once you get Google Sheets open, you're going to just do a blank one. If you click into your first cell, once it's all opened up, you're going to go in here and you're going to paste in your, um, in your chart. Now, once it's in there, you can like make it look pretty or whatever. Mostly we just want it to be in there and ready to go. So once that's in there, then you go to, and you shouldn't have to write it in again. So just copy and paste it over. Then you're going to go to insert chart. And then you wait. And this will come up. Now you've got a whole bunch of information kind of behind where I am. I'm just going to move myself. Look at this. I can just move myself over. Um, and I'm going to move my chart over. So this has automatically put in our data and it has current on the Y axis and potential difference on the X axis. Now, if we go back to our sheet here, it says that we want to have our potential difference on the Y and our, it doesn't say this right now, but it will. <laughs> our current on the V. So what we're gonna do here is we just need to switch these around. So we're going to go in here and our X axis, we're gonna to switch to current. And then our Y axis, we're gonna to switch to potential difference. Now, this did switch, because you can see that this goes up to 60 and this only goes up to four, but we have a problem because the titles didn't switch. So we need to switch our title. So if you just double click on the title, it does have it written over here, or you can just type right into that box and change this to potential difference. And then always make sure you have the unit there as well. And then you're gonna do the bottom one and I'll just type it in here in amps at the bottom. And then our title is also backwards. So we can just cut this, control X. Oh, well I'm saying control, but it actually depends whether you've got a Mac or not. All right, so your title doesn't have to have the units in it, but it doesn't hurt. So now you've got this lovely graph here but what you're going to do is you're going to actually need to add in a trend line. So to do that, you go into your series and you're going to hit trend line. So the trend line will give you this nice, beautiful, straight line. And from that, we're going to be able to solve our, um, we'll be able to solve our slope. So to solve the slope, we need to do a couple of things. So we're gonna need to, first and foremost, you're gonna need to do this by hand. And you're not gonna love this. You're going to say, why do I have to do it by hand? Because I could obviously do this online, which you can, but the problem with that is that you're gonna be expected to do it by hand next year and they're going to want you to be able to do it easily. They grade 10, they vary, they will go over how to do a slope, but you're expected to already know how to do it. So the main thing that you're going to have is you're going to have that it's rise over run. And I will also have a video of what the slope is. And slope is like M in your, you've done this in math, I think. Y equals MX plus B. It's the M. So Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to pick two points on our line that are far away from each other, 
but aren't data points. And that's really important. So I'm going to pick this one right here where I've got my x, so my point 1. So x1 is going to be 1. And y1 is going to be like 15. Right here, that's about 15. Because this is 10, that's 20, so it's about halfway in between. Looks like about 15 to me. Then I'm going to go up here, and this is 30, and this is 40. Oh, sorry, this is 3, and this is 4. So this would be like 3.5 would be about right there. So my x2 is going to be 3.5. And my y2 would be about 55. Does that work for everybody? Did you see how that would be over here? About 55. So I chose those two points because they're on my line, but they're as far apart from each other as I can get without them being a data point. It's really important that they cannot be a data point. So then I'm going to have my slope is equal to rise over run, and my rise is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I will get 55 minus 15 over 3.5 minus 1, which will give me 40 over 2.5. So if I do that, and I can actually find my calculator button on my phone, I get a slope of 16. But what I also have to know is that I have to keep my units through all of this. So I should have my rise being volts and my run being amps. So I've got 40 volts over 2.5 amps, my answer would be volts over amps. Now what you don't know yet is that this number of 16 here, what was our original um, resistance? So the original resistance that we had was 15, right? The resistance we set it at was 15 amps. So or sorry, 15 ohms. So if it's 15 ohms and I get my slope to be 16 volts per amps, what I can tell you is that really means that I've got 16 ohms. So in a perfect world where I had all the grid lines and I could see exactly where my points were, I would probably get 15 as my answer. You guys should get close to 15 as your answer. So I'm not saying fudge your numbers. Please don't. Read it off the graph the best you can. Get as close as you can. And that number is going to tell you whether or not you did it correctly. Doing your slope is very important for you to be able to do for your next year. So please, please, please make sure you're trying that out. So when you're handing this in, make sure you are showing me where you're taking your two points from by writing x1, y1, x2, y2, so that I can see where they are on your graph. And what you'll do at the end then is you can either take a screenshot of this area or you can copy your chart and move it over into the other one, but a screenshot might be easier. Okay? Thanks.